And here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, the 7th of May, 2022. It's the birthday of Archibald MacLeish, born Glencoe, Illinois, 1892, famous for his poem Ars Poetica, A Poem Should Not Mean But Be. It's the birthday of the poet Jenny Joseph, born Birmingham, England, 1932, author of the poem, which won a BBC poll in 1996 for most popular post-war poem in the United Kingdom. It's a poem entitled Warning, which begins, When I am an old woman, I shall wear purple with a red hat, which doesn't go and doesn't suit me. A poem which inspired the Red Hat Society, whose members dress in purple and wear red hats even if it doesn't suit them. It's the birthday of the 18th century French feminist Olympe de Gouges, born in Montauban, France, 1748, who said, If woman has the right to mount the scaffold, she must equally have the right to to mount the rostrum. She was involved in the French Revolution. She supported it until she came to feel that the plight of women was ignored by the revolution. And she wrote a tract called Declaration of the Rights of Woman and the Female Citizen, which argued that if the sexes were treated as equal in nature, French society would be more stable. And for that, she was arrested for sedition and sent to the guillotine. It's the birthday of the English writer Angela Carter, born in Eastbourne, England in 1940. Primarily a novelist, moved from magical realism to science fiction to gothic horror to surrealism in her work, died of lung cancer in 1992. The Australian novelist Peter Carey, born on this day, 1943, in the little town of Bacchus Marsh in Victoria, worked in advertising, had his own ad agency, had a partner who did most of the day-to-day work. Carey would drop in a couple of afternoons a week, spend the rest of his time writing. Author of many novels, including Illiwacker and Oscar and Lucinda, for which he won the Booker Prize. And it's the birthday of the poet Robert Browning, born Camberwell, England, 1812, famous for his love affair with the poet Elizabeth Barrett, with whom he eloped and moved off to Florence, Italy. After her death, he wrote several plays, none of which were successful, but writing for the theater taught Robert Browning how to use the dramatic monologue to reveal character. And the dramatic monologue became a defining characteristic of his work and also a big influence on T.S. Eliot, Robert Frost, Ezra Pound, and others. Here's a poem for today by Lara Ann Bossler, entitled The Pleasures of Hating. I hate Mozart, hate him with that healthy pleasure One feels when exasperation has crescendoed, when lungs, heart, throat, and voice explode at once. I hate that. There's bliss in this, rapture. My shrink tried to disabuse me, convinced I use Amadeus as a prop. Think further, your father, perhaps. I won't go back. Think of the shrink with a powdered wig, Pinched lips, mowl, a transference, he'd say, a relapse. So be it. I hate broccoli, chainsaws, patchouli, bra clasps that draw dents in your back, roadblocks, men in black knee socks, sandals and shorts. I love hating that. Loathe stickers on tomatoes, jerky, deconstruction, Nazis doilies. I delight in detesting and love loving so much after that. A poem by Laura Ann Bossler, The Pleasures of Hating, from Small Gods of Grief, published by Boa Editions. That's the writer's almanac for Saturday, May the 7th. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.